The news yesterday that Alta devices have picked up a record for RPA solar efficiency should be shouted from the rooftops. Popular drone websites have not picked up on it. It's perhaps the biggest leap forward for fixed wing aircraft in the last 10 years. Why so quiet? Well, it's not a multi-rotor thing. Almost these days, if it's not from DJI, it's not worth mentioning. Let's not knock DJI. They're doing great things. If they go into fixed wing aircraft, the industry would really stand up and take note. Alta devices don't just make solar panels for drones. They have fingers in many pies and as such can weather the fashion storms of the RPA business. Quite simply, their solar panels produce more power than anybody else's and are flexible and thin so can bend to the shape of your wing and as such are more aerodynamic. They're so much more efficient that they only require half the area to generate the same power as other manufacturers' panels. Alta's panels may well end up in the offerings from good Facebook and Google. Perhaps climb all day and slowly glide down during the night waiting for sunrise or charge the system enough to remain in the cruise at altitude. Certainly a company to look at if investing is your thing. The Kinetic Zephyr, now part of the Airbus High Altitude Pseudo Satellite Program, that's HAPS, has shown the way with its official endurance record for an unrefueled RPA. Its flight from the 9th of July to the 23rd of July 2010 then tripled what was the existing record set by Global Hawk and it lasted 336 hours, 22 minutes and 8 seconds. It took place during Farnborough 2010 and was the source of great pride to the UK contingent. The Zephyr would receive an instant upgrade just by fitting these panels. I can see a use case in Africa for our wildlife monitoring platforms. Already we've used autonomous soaring to extend endurance. I don't make platforms that operate above 60,000 feet like the Zephyr and as such need to be on the ground before afternoon thunderstorms start. Eight hours endurance would be nice though. Less takeoff and landings make for less crashes. Better batteries that are coming online and these panels will be for long make it trivial for small platforms to fly all day. Silent, clean, long endurance operation. We hear a lot about hail and mail. That's high altitude and medium altitude long endurance platforms. Watch out for the rise of LAIL, low altitude, long endurance. Alta devices have made a fairly ordinary platform, the Air Environment Puma, fly all day. Many more specialist designs will do better than that. Atlantic Solar is my current favourite. 81 hours for a 6.8 kilo platform. It uses the same autopilot as we use and uh, for the autonomous soaring. So all we'd need to do is panel a wing up. That would be our only upgrade. So well done, Alta. We've noticed here and we'll keep watching with interest.